Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Stargirls Season 3, and this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 6 for this season, almost at the halfway point. This episode otherwise entitled The Betrayal, but of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch the trailer. Courtney and Cameron are spending a lot of time together. I'm trying to help him. He is a threat. No, he's not. She's teaching how a psycho how to conjure up icicles. Love can cloud your judgment. So last episode really set some interesting things up here for a couple of different reasons. Of course, we got the still ever lingering, you know, murder mystery thing, which we're led to believe is Cindy. There's a lot of evidence against Cindy, but we didn't see her stab the gambler. So there's still a bit of doubt there. And also who attacked Sylvester? And of course, Cindy's on her own sort of mission to help herself out in regards to slowly turning into like a dragon queen sort of sort of thing by going to her old father's labs that are hidden throughout various parts of the United States and trying to find a solution. But also Sylvester's on her trail there because he has knowledge of them because he had been tracking them in the past. So you think eventually they're going to cross paths where Cindy's at the one lab while Sylvester gets there or vice versa. So you'd assume something's going to happen there. But speaking of Cindy, Yolanda knows that she has the laptop. So there's more drama there. And of course, you know that there's the whole Cameron McKent Icicle Jr. issue. No one's really happy that Courtney's hanging out with him, but Courtney's dead set on making him her boyfriend and that relationship continuing. And I think we all know that's not going to lead anywhere good. It's just a matter of where things start to turn sour really, really quickly. And this might be the episode where that happens. But of course, before we get into the actual breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly uh, read out the synopsis or description for the episode as it does give us a bit more uh, of an idea of what's happening throughout the episode. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various thoughts, opinions, theories, predictions, what you're looking forward to the most in this episode. Let me know all that in the comments section down below. Always curious to read it. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, want to show your support, and you're looking forward to this episode of Stargirl, why not drop a like on the video to show all that? After learning that Courtney has been spending time with Cameron, Pat and Barbara go on a recon mission at the McCants. Meanwhile, Sylvester steps in to fill the void left by Courtney, and tensions between Yolanda and Cindy reach new heights. Courtney and Cameron are spending a lot of time together. Yep, that just, that just is not a lie. That is 100% the truth, and that's how we start the trailer. But as we see and hear in the trailer, the person saying that isn't Cindy or any of the other young, uh, young JSA members it's actually Courtney's mother, Barbara. Now, of course, Barbara does bring up the last episode uh, or brought up last episode that Courtney must be seeing a boy due to how Courtney was acting and everything like that. But it appears that they weren't told who it was that Courtney was spending time with by Courtney herself, potentially, but someone else. I mean, it could have been the other JSA members or Sylvester or based at the end of last episode, it could have been Cameron's grandparents that invited them over to, you know, make maybe Pat and Barbara stop Courtney hanging out with Cameron because they would know that he is the son of Icicle and maybe fear for Courtney or maybe Pat and Barbara just find out and they come over in their own accord because they are worried because, you know, Cameron is the son of Icicle. Regardless, I don't think Pat is going to be that supportive of this relationship, at least I don't think he would. And I think he's got a pretty decent sized reason to not be that supportive. But we do see there is some conflict and, uh, well, just drama, I guess, between Courtney and the other JSA members when they, and I guess more specifically Rick, call Cameron a threat with Courtney lashing back, like not holding back, you know, lashing back pretty fiercely that he is not. But she can't be 100% sure on that. But to be fair, neither can Rick. Now, the big issue here isn't whether Cameron is actually good or not or a threat or not. I think it's more that this whole issue is really dividing the JSA and taking the focus off solving the murder mystery in Blue Valley before whoever is responsible potentially impacts someone else's life, potentially taking that life. That needs to be the focus and Courtney's mind is elsewhere and due to her mind being elsewhere and everyone knowing about it, everyone else's mind is elsewhere and they're sort of split on certain things. They need to be focused and this whole thing is, well, not helping out. Now we do see Courtney with Cameron in this garden getting help, uh, or getting him, sorry, to harness his abilities more. And this is a part of the risk. Courtney could be helping Cameron go bad by doing this. We don't know if his powers develop more, that he gets more evil tendencies and starts to turn more into what, you know, like his father was like. And we could maybe see the start of that in this episode. I mean, we saw it last episode when he started to almost get really, really triggered and angry and 
his gears getting grinded by Cindy. And she was referencing something that happened when they were like seven or eight years old or something like that. And that was at a really young age. So if his powers are starting to come out now, could that even, you know, could we see something even worse? Now, you'd have to think that surely his grandparents don't continue to let him be, you know, goody goody with Courtney and potentially the other JSA members. So they're going to step in at some point and maybe that just makes Cameron even more angry and potentially even more bad. But speaking of Cindy before, we do have her telling Rick and Yolanda that Courtney is helping Cameron with his powers, with this shortly being followed by Courtney like smashing to the ground between Cindy and the other two JSA members with her new abilities that she learned a couple of episodes ago, with it slightly before, you know, before Courtney sort of lands on the ground, looking like Cindy was on the offense with her blades out. But could this part with Cindy telling Rick and Yolanda, you know, from early in the trailer actually be after Courtney arrives? So Courtney's actually there when Cindy's saying the stuff. Cindy appears to have tears going down her cheek or down down her down her face. So she's obviously very emotional here. And maybe it's because things aren't going away. Maybe she explains what's happening to her and why she's doing what she's doing. And maybe she denies killing the gambler, but that's why she has the laptop because of what's happening to her. I think Cindy could potentially have an emotional part in this episode that would have most of the audience sympathizing with her because of what's happening to her despite some of the bad stuff that she's done in the past even specifically to Yolanda Yolanda could actually feel really really bad for Cindy and actually want to help her so we could see a change in this scene right here where a lot of sympathy goes towards Cindy and there's a lot of anger towards Courtney from the JSA because Courtney's just being absent and also potentially helping Cameron be bad going forward into the future I'm very curious heading into this episode, especially this part of the episode. Now, the episode title of Betrayal, you would think going into it, based off the end of last episode and what is set up, that the episode title is referring to Cindy and, you know, being a part of the JSA, but then going against them by potentially killing the gambler and then taking his laptop for our own personal means. But, you know, could it be referring to Courtney also and that the other JSA members feel that there is some betrayal from her, from, you know, from her side? I think... That is highly likely, or I don't want to say highly likely, but definitely possible. I think that's, in a couple of these episodes with the, the titles, there's been like a bit of a double, if not a triple meaning. So I could definitely see that playing out in this episode as well. Now, I think this could be a big Cameron episode. And that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean like a lot, like a ridiculous amount of screen time, like he's the main character, but just a big moment, a big episode for his character just because I think after this specific episode that we will start to roll into another portion of the season, that it starts to include Mr. Bones and what was set up from the end of last season, while still including the murder of the gambler and the mystery around that and some repercussions from it and all of that. So while I don't think this is the last of Cameron's character for the season, I could see this being a big episode for the character and then his story then maybe takes a back seat for a few episodes and the character as a whole just takes a back seat while other stuff starts to play out and then he maybe emerged towards the end of last season in a you know in a more consistent role again maybe his grandparents take him away somewhere or something like that but i just i have a feeling like that we had we had focus on him for the past few episodes and that's for a reason and just episode 7 just based off the episode title of infinity inc part 1 it just seems like we're going to branch off into something different for at least a few episodes to, to move on the season and the story going on with all of that. But we'll find out. I'm sure by the end of the episode, we'll know whether Cameron's going to keep showing up consistently in, in the next episodes after this one. But yeah, we'll wait and find out. But for one of the few episodes, I think since like episode two or something, we actually have promo images for this episode well in advance. So we'll go through them quickly. So we do have... The JSA talking to Sylvester here once again. You'd have to assume the main topic of discussion is Courtney and where the hell she is. And speaking of where the hell she is, that's in the next promo images, which we did see in the uh, the trailer sort of, and that's Courtney and Cameron coming into this room here, which is the same room where the snow globes are, where Cameron dropped that in the previous episode. It's like their sitting room, or I don't know what you would call it. The, I know they're rich. They've got a big house. Uh, fancy room number seven. We'll call it that. We do have Pat and Barbara sitting down with uh, Cameron's grandparents. Um, don't think the conversation would be that thrilling, but of course, this is going to be a bit of a shock to Courtney, you'd have to think. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious to see how Pat reacts. I mean, Pat's smiling in this photo here, and so is Barbara, but Pat's like probably got a nervous smile like, oh, this is really weird. Why is my stepdaughter uh, dating a, the son of a guy that tried to kill me? Anyway, 
This is weird. Can we leave soon? Oh, we do have Beth here. I'm assuming she's talking to her mother. I want to say she's talking to her mother. I'm going to say that. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Then we do get Rick and Yolanda here. And this is them obviously talking. I want to say obviously. It looks like they're talking to Cindy. I think it's Cindy. I think that's Cindy's hair. I think it's Cindy. Yeah, anyway. Could be Courtney, but I think it's Cindy. I think it's the scene where they confront each other and Cindy's sort of got tears rolling down her eyes. But then again, that could be Courtney. There's like a bit of a lighter color there, but it could just be like the white from uh, Cindy's hair. But yeah, you can tell Rick and Yolanda aren't that pleased based off their facial expressions. Mark and Jakeem in the diner area. I'm just curious to see what they're doing. They want to be their own heroes. Obviously, I think they could just, they got to focus on mastering that pen and the wishes and stuff like that. I mean, that was zero for two last episode. They've really got to focus on that. Then we do see the JSA confronting Courtney here, which is, of course, as we saw in the trailer, the part where Courtney does lash out. Um, I want to see the rest of that scene, though, because I think the JSA or, like, Rick Yolanda... Well, Rick and Yolanda specifically, Beth sort of, like, being very neutral about it, but Rick and Yolanda have, you know, specific reasons to be upset. Yolanda, because of the whole Cindy situation, and, you know, Yolanda hates Cindy... Rick hates Cameron and Courtney's sort of like hanging out with both of them. I mean, at some point you can understand their frustration, but at the same time, we know that Courtney tries to see the best in people and Cameron's not really done anything to her visibly to not give him a chance. Cindy, on the other hand, she's really being, you know, giving her the benefit of the doubt to the extreme, but you can understand why she'd uh, not be against Cameron from the get-go, but I think, I think she's got to trust her friends at the end of the day. And then the final photo here is Sylvester and Corny having a chat. Corny does look a bit upset. And this might be one of like Sylvester's chats about maybe how the JSA ran things in the past and some issues there. Um, but yeah, it's hard to really understand what's going on here because it's just a photo. But yeah, Corny does look upset. So hopefully this motivates Corny. This might be just before she lands down, like we saw in the trailer with her powers and stuff like that. So maybe this is the part in the episode where Sylvester... Tells Courtney to maybe focus on what she thinks is the right thing to do. And that might push her to helping out the JSA, which then maybe, you know, when she has all those powers about like harnessing like the good moments and the people you love and stuff. And that is the JSA. So maybe that's, this is the motivation that leads to that scene. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like and show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on the video and, the, and on the trailer and what you're looking forward to the most. Any theories, predictions, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, Make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.